But here we go, game one. It's going to be Oracle playing Captain Falcon, which is uh, not something that I knew existed in Oracle Captain Falcon. And uh, this man Slick has a new is going to be playing Greninja. This man has a new character every week. <laughs> Yeah, he's got to he's got to take the place of Bwet after I bodied Bwet on stream. <laughs> All right, standing there with the jabs, not a bad idea. Greninja does uh, have some tools to deal with that, but it's a matter of having the mindset to get around something like that. Yeah, though, really, what uh, what Orca wants to look for in neutral here is to is to land first of all, because mm -hmm. Greninja does a pretty good job at, at keeping his opponents in the air, especially things like up air smash. Yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> Good up Yeah, not gonna find a big punish off of that because Falcon is pretty fast and Greninja does have a little bit of an awkward recovery after using that up Well, Oracle looking for something pretty big, but it's gonna be hard to get that on a character like Greninja who's as mobile as he is. Okay, double jab, nothing off of it. Nice. Oh, he's looking for that air dodge. Slick is DIing these down throws correctly, which is very important. If you die if you DI the down throw in, you will get need at those uh mid percents. Yeah, which uh, which me is a pretty volatile move. It will uh, it will take your stock away pretty early. Yeah. All right, down throw to up there, pretty standard. Oracle. Get oh, out of the way, that down a bit of a bit of flub up there. Wanted to get that revert. Didn't Ooh, want to that. that's a bad decision, but works out for him anyways. Back throw to get him off stage. Let's see what the edge road is. Okay, recovers with the side beat. It's pretty good. It's a uh, very difficult for Falcon <laughs> to defend. He's doing that against. IQ HQ roll <laughs> into the ledge. Okay, the down tilt. All right, got the down throw, but he's not going to find anything off of that. Forward yeah, throw, like... up throw is actually going to be killing pretty soon for both of these characters, if not now. Oh, Ooh, drop zone forward air, but the SD the off of it is well. And ends up, uh, <laughs> ends up taking his own stock in a, an exchange. He does get the balloon as he respawns, however, so Slick not looking too bad. This game's running pretty even, though. I mean... You know, they were running pretty even on the percents that whole first stock, and now on the second stock, you know, they're still pretty close. I mean, this is just one down throw combo away for Oracle to bring this back to even, <laughs> and, and as saying. such. Oh, but can I get any? Oh, Sour Spot up smash. Oh, that be could be the stock. No. So I thought he was going to go for that up right there. That guard. could be it right there. Oh, no, but he neglects not going for, uh, decides not to go for the up B, yeah. the hydro pump. Yeah, I think if Slick uses that Hydro Pump to edge guard, that could be effective, but gets the forward smash and will take game one rather, I wouldn't say convincingly, but solidly. Yeah, he had a solid win there. Uh, he had a pretty solid read on that uh, on that landing option and then just ended up just getting the forward smash. And not really much you can do whenever you get forward smash at 100%. Mm -hmm. Oracle going to be changing characters as he does. He is uh, quite the character he changer. He is a counterpick character. He is a... He is a He's a poor man's anti. He can, will counterpick. He you can will call Oracle you. a character, too. I mean, he sort of is. Yeah, he's pretty animated. Great guy, Oracle though. says, forget Shulk. I'm going to play Bowser Jr. He's pulling out the characters that I have never seen him play before in my life. He actually does have a Bowser Jr. Never I've seen it. I've played it a couple times. Um, but... Ooh, All right, so catching Bowser the Jr. Sneak already. Bowser Jr. has a lot of weird stuff. You see that down air right there? It's very no, nope. Oracle did not win that last one, and as a result, he's going to have to take this game and another in order to get in order to find his way a little bit further in the winners bracket. Yeah, I'm but interested to see how well he knows how to set up these traps with Bowser Jr., especially involving the Mecha Koopa. Yeah, like Honestly, how he uses one, his aerials. One really interesting thing about Bowser Jr. is his down air has very little ending lag, so you can... Oh! Ooh, the up B, the forward air, but Slick gonna live with some pretty slick DI, if I do say so myself. Yeah, Ooh, like Bowser Jr. Recovery. Bowser Jr. has a lot of weird stuff, like that down air is auto-cancelable. Uh, it deals a good bit of damage. And it can confirm into like grab and other things. So I like the way that Oracle's been using the uh, cannonball shots so far because normally we don't see Bowser's use them or Bowser Jr.'s use them a lot, but uh, so far he's been using a pretty good job of them, mostly to force uh, Slick into a certain recovery option or to force Slick to approach and get out of the position that he was occupying. Oh! So forward smash gonna take that. Stop. Landed a little bit too close there and, and ate that forward smash as a result. Oracle. Only that first, but Slick SDing on the forward air again. 
And it is a little important to note that uh, when Greninja wants to do that forwarder kill, he needs to jump off the stage first and then do a forwarder if he's going to fast fall it. If he doesn't fast fall it, then he's fine. But if you're going to fast fall, you do have to jump off the stage instead of run off of it. Yes. <laughs> As a result, we're going to find ourselves in game three. And I'm wondering where we're going to go because this is quite a strange matchup. Um, Mega this Gower is decent. Playing. Uh, one stage, I know the stages that Bowser Juniors like to take their opponents to are Triplats mm -hmm. because it allows them to play with uh, Cooper shenanigans. Ooh. Oracle! Ooh. Going for that double downer, like you said, very little ending lag, and it managed to have enough little bit of an ending lag for him to connect two of them in a row. And now, got Slick a little bit on the ropes, 45% to start, and climbing. Slick getting his first hit in. He's going to have to find a little bit of a setup here. He gets the Mecha nice. Koopa, but that will bait him into getting back aired. And <laughs> if he uh, had held on to that <gasps> Mecha Koopa, he would have died. Okay, air dodging through that back air. Slick. Oh, trying to go for the up smash there. Doesn't quite pan out the way he wanted to. Ooh, not the best DI. Oh, that was not. That was slightly immaculate DI, but didn't quite pan out the way he wanted it to. Uh, but yeah, now he's down a stock and he's getting lapped right now. I gotta point out the shield pressure that Oracle's been putting on Slick this whole time. Not letting him stay in shield due to the fact that he can throw those Mecha Koopas. And like you said, with the little ending lag that that down air has, he can continue to use it and keep Slick from staying in shield, which is one of Greninja's best things. Yeah, one thing that, uh, that, one thing that Slick needs to do right here, he, he needs to stop being... He needs to, he needs to be patient here. Like, this match isn't going to get won by you going in and losing neutral over and over again. Yeah, Bowser Jr. is very good at uh, getting the opponent Oh, he was to looking for an air dodge right in. there. Ooh, down smash, not going to kill. It is one of his more powerful smash attacks. We'll see what happens here with these off nice. stage. Ooh, really going for it here. Going to get the hammer hit. Oh, looking for the roll wow. read right there. Okay, slick. Gets the rapid jam. Let's see what his punish is with Oracle off stage, but no. Hey, good short. Uh, oh, wow, read that roll so hard. Oh, oh, oh. Oracle gonna take that game two with two stocks remaining, but a close set altogether for the uh, for those first couple of games. But Oracle just uh, kind of had to get warmed up a little bit, figured out Slick's game plan, and hit it. Yeah, and just like he and one thing that uh, like I said I noted on the one thing that Slick needs to work to improve on, if especially since he was down so quickly so early is to just like, kind of clam up and start playing a bit more defensive because what do because he was just going in trying to get a hit on that second stock and he was just being met with wall after wall after <laughs> wall liberally using smash attacks too which against a character like Bowser Jr is uh, very dangerous to do yeah 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 but pretty well played in that first game just kind of couldn't adjust to that Bowser Jr playstyle in the second game and uh, also Oracle doing an excellent job of adjusting to Slick's playstyle himself. Yeah, this is a pretty good adaptation from Oracle. But anyway, we're going to be getting into our next match here. At hopefully some point. Pretty short, hopefully pretty shortly. I can't see if anybody sat down because the gorgeous prince is in the way. <laughs> He's a, know, it doesn't look like anybody has uh, sat down quite yet. He's decked out in a Sunday casual. So yeah, the tournament is underway. So yeah, here we're going to be going into... Uh, I'm excited to play my matches. matches. Uh, have you looked at your bracket yet? I have not looked at my...